Before we can identify the cars in the connected cars data, let's start with the question. What is the data collected by the connected car? To answer this question, we will take a look at some aspects of the data. As in the previous examples, we will be using the IPython notebook. From the instructor's notes, please find the download links to the IPython notebook and the data set that we will use in this lesson. And make sure you have a file in it named connectedcars.csv. Launch the IPython notebook and click on Lesson 4 Handout. You should see something like this on your web browser screen. Let's look at the first block of code. Here, the first thing we do is import the pandas library. And then we use the pandas library to read the CSV file connectedcars.csv. For the entirety of this lesson, to run the piece of code in that block, we will use the play button here. You can also use the enter and shift button together to do the same. Let's run this piece of code. Now the data has already been loaded in a pandas data frame. The data frame is called events. We will use the describe method for the data frame to see what it loaded. Here you will see a summary of the data in a table. This summary shows that we have 128,561 events or entries. You can take a look at the actual data by using the head method on events. The head method shows you what is inside the data. In this case, we have five columns. In the first column, we have a driver ID. The second column gives us some values of X. The third, some values of Y. The fourth are dates on which these values were taken. And the fifth, the time at which these values were taken. We only see here the top five events. Similarly, we can try to use the tail method on events. Let's see what happens. We see the same sort of data, except now the driver IDs are G. You can see these are the last five rows of the data set. We will quickly summarize the data. We saw that the data has IDs A to G. It has some X and Y location or coordinates. It also has a date and time. Here we have a scatter diagram to show you what the data actually contains. These are coordinates of people driving around in a connected car. 